How to add kerning to a font in Canva. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video with me and I hope you all are doing well and are having an amazing day. So, I bring you back with yet another Canva tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can add kerning to a font in Canva. Now, you're probably wondering what kerning is. Kerning is the spacing you add between the text in Canva or in any text app for that. So uh, we're just going to get right in. It's going to be very simple and very easy. Canva has kerning right in front in the top toolbar and I'm going to show you how you can do it. It's very simple. I'm going to guide you through everything. And by the end of this video, you're going to learn how to do kerning and how to add it to any type of font or text. I'm going to also show you how you can add external fonts on Canva. So yeah. We're just going to get right in and it's going to be very simple. So let's go. So we're going to write canva, canva.com. We're going to load that up. And once we're on canva.com, uh, you're going to need to know the main basics of how Canva really works and the main interface. And if you don't know that, you're going to go ahead uh, to my channel where you can find the Canva tutorial where I have discussed the basics of how Canva works. You can watch that and come back here once you've known everything. And it's very easy and very simple, so don't worry about it. So once you've learned the basics of Canva and how Canva works, what we're going to need to do is we're going to obviously go ahead and create a design where we've written our text and we want to add kerning to it. So here's our blank canvas. We're going to go to text. I'm going to add two texts. Now over here, I'm going to write text kerning. And here I'm adding text spacing. I'm just going to decrease the font. There we go. You know what? I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to go here and I'm going to write text spacing over here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at the top toolbar and here you can see these features. Uh, this is the alignment feature from which we can fix the alignment. This is the list feature from which we can add bullet points or list points. This is what we're looking for. This is the spacing feature. It has uh, the bi-directional arrow and three lines. We're just going to click on that. And here we're going to get these options, which say letter spacing and line spacing and anchor text box. Now, first of all, let's discuss what anchor text box does. Anchor text box defines what text will move when we play with these settings. So if we do this, it says down. So obviously the lower text will move. If you do this, both these texts will move simultaneously. And if you do this, the upper text will move. So let's do the middle ones. So both the texts move. So let's just do this and let's do letter spacing and look at that. You can increase the space between letters depending on how you want to make it look. You can decrease the space and make it very congested. And when it comes to spacing, look at that. You can horizontally put space in it or you can just bring them together, whatever you like. So yeah, this just depends on however you want the design to look and however you want the space to text. And yeah, this is basic, the basic gist of it. And this is how you can work around all of this. So yeah, then you can just go on uh, share and yeah just uh, add whatever you want so yeah those are the basics of how you can add text kerning to canva so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to home and we're gonna learn how we can add our very own font so how we can add our font for that you see this tools section under the tools section you can see brand and when we click on brand it's gonna give us upgrade and upload your own font now, obviously, first of all, we're going to want to download our custom font. And for that, we're going to go to 1001freefonts.com. We're going to click on that. We're going to wait for it to load up. Now, once it loads up, uh, we're going to go and download any type of fonts we want. Like For example, these Doodle fonts, Open Sans, National Cartoon. Uh, there's Motion Picture font. There's many fonts over here. So you're just going to go ahead and click on download. Now, once you do that, I already have my fonts downloaded. Now, once you download, you're going to go to your downloads and you're going to take these folders. You're going to extract them. And once you extract them, you're going to have these true type font files. 
Now, first of all, you're going to click these true type font files and install the fonts. I already have them installed, so I, I won't install them again. You can install them from here. So first of all, you're going to install them into your systems interface. Now, once you've done that, you're going to go back to Canva. Once you're here, you're going to click on upgrade and upload your own font. And from there on, you're going to drag your true type font file over here, and that will automatically upload your font. But just know this. Before doing any of this, you should know that to do this, you need to have Canva Pro. If you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to do this. Now, what is Canva Pro, you ask? If you go on plans and pricings, here you can see that there are three plans. There's the free plan, the pro plan, and the teams plan. Now, the teams plan is basically just like the pros plan, but pros plan is only for one person, and teams plan can be for as many people as you want so for now we're just gonna go on pros plan and as we see, we can see Canva Pro makes it easy for individuals to achieve their goals and create professional designs with premium features like brand kit unlimited content background remover and more so if you go and see prices we can see the prices for Canva Pro it's fifty four dollars and ninety nine cents per year it's just for one person though and you can also change it to the monthly and once you do it on monthly, you can see that it's $6.49. But do remember that in the yearly bundle, you can save 29%. So that's a bargain, and I would go for that. Of course, you can also start the free trial to see if you really like what you're doing. And once all of that is done, yeah, you're going to have Pro. And Pro not only provides you with this branding tool, you can also resize your photos, remove background from your photos, get all these new templates and designs that you don't have in your free content. So yeah, again, I'm going to remind you, we're going to go on fonts, upgrade your font, you're going to put the true type font file, then you're going to go and create a design to go to your designs, uh, you're going to go to text, and you won't see your font anywhere over here, so you're just going to have to search the text up. For example, if it's your motion picture text, you're going to write motion picture, and you're going to get your text somewhere down here. So yeah, that's the basic gist of it, and yeah, that's how simple and easy it was. So I hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. If you have any queries regarding this video, let me know down in the comments below and I will get back to you ASAP. If you want more tutorials regarding Canva, please do let me know and I will make some for you. And yeah, share the video around. Leave a nice comment telling me that I did a good job. And yeah, I hope you all have an amazing day ahead of you. Uh, that's all from me. Goodbye.